uh, in Maestro is a CD that I I did with a lot of uh, excitement, especially attracted by the figure of uh, Nicola Porpora, but uh, uh, most of the of the teacher way of him, you know, not, uh, of course as a great composer, as, as we know, uh, Porpora, but I was very interested about uh, his uh, teacher side, you know, his maestro side. That was uh, what really put my interest on the on the figure of, of Porpora. I wanted to see what uh, this man that knows so so much or knew so much about about the the voice and the training on the voice. How did he write f on his compositions uh, with all that knowledge? So and that was uh, really really great to to discover and to and also later to prepare the, the repertoire for the disc, but yeah, that was for me the, the most in important to, to, to think about it, uh, about Porpora as, as a teacher of singers. This is something very personal, you know. I, when I work some repertoire or when I work uh, focus on, on, a, on, a, on a person, let's say a composer or a singer, in a way I, I, I try to imagine or I try to have some sp spiritual connection, you know, like, uh, like it's happened to me now with Porpora. For me, uh, the fact to be doing uh, his areas and learning the music 
in a way make me feel like uh, like his pupil in a way, you know, like being in, in, in his classroom. Well, from this CD, I, 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 I like to say that after, after you sing these arias, I think you are ready to sing any, any Baroque aria in the, in the repertoire because it, there, there was arias written for a teacher, you know what I mean? So you learn a lot by, by singing them. They are very demanding because, as I said before, they demand to the voice a really incredible flexibility and, and preparation. Um, but I think after that, uh, I feel prepared to really keep doing this, this Baroque music in, in the best possible way. I mean, it's, it's a great tool, the fact to, to, to meet Paul Pratt. 